rooted in substance, not flash, rooted in substance. Today, we talk with our pads. You talk with your helmet, right? Every moment. The Cinderella story is over, man, right? They're fighting for clicks, we're fighting for wins. There's a difference, right? There's a difference, right? This game ain't gonna be played in Hollywood, it's gonna be played on the grass. Oh. He is embarrassing, Dion. I want you he to know is. Dion's remembering this. No. Well, yes. Now, did y'all on, 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 on that comment that Dion was making? You you saw he slipped this in. Now I want to show y'all this comment. He slipped it in. He said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Hey, give him credit. Give him credit. But I keep receiving, and he kept it going. Now watch this comment here. Hey, hey, roll his comment. Just watch what he says here when Dion is talking. I don't say stuff just to say it for a click, you know, <laughs> contrary to what some may say. But, uh, yeah, I, get, I keep receipts. Uh, but I'm serious. I analyze and I understand what we're up against and what we have and what we need. One thing that I could say honestly and candidly, you better get me right now. This is the worst we're going to be. I, 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 you right better there. get me right now. So I spoke to somebody in the coaching fraternity right after the game. And they know some people that coach at Oregon. And they was telling me, they said, man, I've never heard from a, another assistant coach of how much information was being given to that staff uh -huh. about, no, I'm just, I'm yeah. being real with it, yeah. about game planning against Colorado mm -hmm. right. so they can beat them. Well, everybody that stacking. everybody was stacked. They everybody was stacking. Yeah. That, that's the reality of it. I ain't making this up. No. I ain't gonna disclose no names, but y'all know who I'm talking and, and, about and if you watch what it. I was talking so about right here, you know. All right. And now, how do you sell this to kids? Do you understand? Ain't nothing to now sell. you got. No, well, you got to tell these kids. Do listen. There's this the other side of all this attention. Everybody is coming to take you out. How do you tell sell this to kids to raise their game because they're the ones feeling the heat on the field? Yeah, but but they're playing against these coaches are coaching against Dion. They're trying to beat Dion. They don't care about beating the kids. They, their focus I is, that. I got to check the kids more. are the one that's getting slaughtered. And they get the one yeah, that's going to but they got to raise up. At, the, raise at, up at some point, you got to take. Take. Let, let Richard go. Go ahead, go. Rich. At some point, you got to take some pride. You know what I mean? Especially on that offensive line. Like you said, Shador got sacked seven times. Like, when do you got to bow up? These are human beings, you know? And I'm sure Dion said that to him. Like, I know he's seven, eight players away, but the players that was out there, you've seen an underdog come out on top. You've seen guys play above above what they're capable of from time to time. And he's going to need that up out of them because every week there's going to be good D lines and you can't just accept that this team is better than them. Um, and you, like you said, Dion takes a lot of pride in what he does. Dion takes took pride in, in what happened out there. He couldn't control as much as he's used to controlling, I'm sure. I'm sure if he was out there, he would feel like he would make a difference. I'm sure right. if Travis Hunter was out there, he would yeah. feel if like he would make a difference. If all of us was out there, we would make a difference. But that's what we're saying. This team was this is 1-11 team last year, yeah. and now right. they are facing the pressures that we all face every Sunday to show up and play. You know, you know, and we we didn't pay millions and millions of dollars. These kids, well, they can pay millions too. So now, you know what I mean? now. <laughs> so let me back up on that. But the pressures are it's serious for these kids. Mm. Everybody's coming after them, but, and everybody's showing up. But you it. know, Dion better than all three of us, and you know he's going to have that conversation it, what we've been with looking. each and one of those kids and let them know. This ain't nothing but a bump in the road. You know that. Mm. He not going to sit there, close his door, go sit in his office. Oh, no, no doubt. Put, put the little thing down. You know how they do. They put the little thing down, the curtain, the close yeah. it. They don't want to talk to anybody, Skip. That's not going to be the yeah. They getting ready to move on to USC. What's happened has happened. We're going to put that tape in the burner, and now we're going to focus in on USC while my guys go out there and look for what I need to be competitive next season. All right. I'm not going to be a hypocrite about this because I did pick Colorado to win this game 45 to 42. So I gave Oregon 42, and that's exactly what they scored. Uh, silly me, I thought that Colorado, because they do have weapons even beyond Travis Hunter. Obviously, he was a huge loss on both sides of the ball, maybe even more so on defense than offense. But I thought there was enough firepower, and they have enough dogs, as Lil Wayne says, on both sides of the ball that they could move the football. Well, obviously, they've had trouble all year protecting Shadur. I'm going to be honest about this. He did not play 
great football no, on Saturday. Not. He did no, not have his no, best he game. Not. He, did not. he got off wrong-footed right away, right. and he couldn't get and it. it looked he, right. He, he just right couldn't get in the rhythm of the game, and he couldn't. I, I thought that Mikey Harrison would play a bigger role. I thought Dylan Edwards, and look at their stats. They got nothing. And again, all props to Oregon because they're really yeah. good on both sides right. of the ball. Right. And they dominated the ball on offense with these long drives, so Shadur didn't have the football a whole lot. But – if you come out and you commit 12 penalties for 106 yards, you're not ready to play. Or at least the other team is way right. readier to play than you are, which they were. So in the big picture of things, Dion said after the game, it wasn't about a big gap in talent. And I think in his heart of hearts, he believes that. They don't have the horses, as Richard points out, offense and defensive no. lines. No. Right. But they do have some star power and firepower yeah. at other positions it's, it's that I thought would rise up and level the playing field on Saturday. It did not, in large part because of his pregame speech, because, again, they came out at kickoff and just ran over Colorado, psychologically devastated and dominated from the start, okay? And once it, it happens, how many times did you guys, you, you've had those games where you just got crushed. Uh, we're about to talk about a team you that got crushed. Yeah. You can't get up out of it. You can't get up out of it, no. dude. I know we have been. You're sitting here. You're seeing it happen. Yeah. And what? you feel like, man, man, let's do something to come up out of this. Yeah. And you can't come up out of it. Not until that it, day. Not, not that, that day until it's no. until you you're in the locker room. Remember last week what I said? They never faced that type of adversity. Right. Not like that. And that was going to be the issue for me is when they go in there and if all of a sudden – that switch comes on and they can't turn it off, how would they respond? Because they never had to go on the road, be double digits down, right. in a hostile environment right. early in the game. It just, it, it's a different feel. Four weeks from now, if that ever, ever happened, they respond differently because they've already faced a challenge before, so they know how to respond. I yeah. tell you what, dude, I tell you what, and, and I talked about this before. That dude, Troy Franklin, I, 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 I want to do two things here. First of all, Let's give that coaching staff some credit. Yeah. Because those kids got outplayed on the football field. But Oregon coaching staff did a great job in outcoaching Colorado's coaching staff. Some of those yeah. route, some of those plays that were wide, running wide open, those, those are coaches. Uh, and coach, that, I, I put that more on coaching because there's no way a kid should be that wide open and everything. Sometimes you even bust a coverage or we just caught you in the right coverage and ran a play and got it, took advantage of you. So I well, got to give them Keyshawn credit. As Keyshawn said, they got input from coaches all over the country. All on how to over do that. the country. Now, that's and, some you information know, I ain't gonna lie. right there. Look, look, that's I ain't going to lie to you, so playmaker. Right. I ain't going to give up my sources, but I ain't going <laughs> to lie to you. So everybody piling on. That's scary.